When I say sawdust, what do you think of? For me, it brings back memories of grammar school and that orange sawdust that the janitor would spread over classroom spills. Even if that spill came from a classmate's fourth period lunch that they apparently just rented. Well, now that wood sand can do a stint in objects fit to print. Here's Allie Ward to explain. These whimsical wood pieces are grounded in a philosophy of conservation. The three founders of Forest have extensive experience in 3D printing, and they dreamed up a way to create beauty here without sacrificing it here. At Forest, they're about change, making 3D printed wood creations from sawdust. It's a company concept designed by founders Andrew Jeffrey, professor of design and architecture at San Jose State University, Virginia Sanfratello, and University of California, Berkeley, professor of architecture, Ronald Rael. I flew to Burlington, Massachusetts to meet Andrew. 3D printing really is a choreography of chemistry, materials, design, computers, electrical engineering, all of those things have to be working exactly to be able to 3D print something. And where do you get the sawdust? We get the sawdust from furniture makers. And every piece of furniture is usually sanded or finished. And we get that dust from the sanding processes. There's 84 million tons of sawdust generated in the US every year. (gasps) So these are all your machines at work. So this one's working right now. So that's just spread. A, uh, a new layer of powder, mm-hmm. and this is going to come over and then glue that powder together in the in the shape that we need. Can I feel some of the sawdust? Sure, we have some right here. Ah. This is the sawdust. Wow. You can touch it. Ah, it feels like flour. Yeah, like... it does. On the other side of the country, in Oakland, California, is a tiny home nestled beneath a canopy of trees. That's where I found co-founder Virginia Sanfratello. This is gorgeous. This is the cabin of 3D printed curiosities. What is 3D printed here? Almost everything. 3D printed building materials are a little bit porous, so they also have really good, I think, acoustical and insulative properties as well. The ecological aspect of their work is a central theme. Ronald and Virginia both care deeply about the environment. This is one of the first 3D printed wood pieces in the world. Oh my gosh. And you get to have it because you made it. Yes. (laughs) That's awesome. It goes from thick to thin and it has a cantilever. So when we're able to print this form successfully, we think we've got it right. Back in Massachusetts, the unveiling process. Blowing the powder off this. Is that gratifying? That is. It's always amazing to see something emerge from the powder. That is so cool. Gorgeous. A creative revelation combined with forest conservation. Bravo, 